What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Gripworks. A lot has happened since the last time we uploaded a video, but we are currently standing in our new workspace. Not sure what to call it yet, but it's a space for us to finally get projects done and finally get videos to you guys more often and more consistently like we would like to do. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this place in this video. I just kind of want to show you guys how we got to this point, but I'll give you guys a full walkthrough of the workspace and you know what's covered up behind me uh, in the next video but as of right now kind of wanted to, like i said i kind of want to show you guys how we got to this point the place didn't really look like this when we got it it was kind of a mess so there was a lot of cleaning that i had to do to get this place ready to work on cars So once we got this place cleaned up enough to work on cars, we uh, kind of tested it out by bringing our civics in and getting them ready for the next round of VTech Club, which was a couple months ago, which I think was round three at Streets of Willow. Mooney had some clutch upgrades that he wanted to do and I had some basic maintenance and track prep that I needed to get done. So that was a very good test for this place.
So with the cars ready to go for VTech Club, we kind of came here and packed up everything that we needed. I went out and rented a trailer, loaded my car up, kind of packed everything, and we left here like at 4.30 in the morning to the streets of Willow for VTech Club. I didn't record too much that day. I do have some footage of it, but it was a lot of good fun, so let's go ahead and show that now. Streets of Willow for Vita Club round three. This time it's just me and Mooney. But uh, yeah, we just got here. We just got um, semi unloaded. We're getting the cars ready for a uh, parade lap. And we're just gonna take it easy today. We're not really here to try to go fast. We're just trying to have some fun. So yeah, um, we're gonna get GoPros charged up and mounted up and then we'll take you guys along for the parade lap. lap is basically a like line formation it's like follow the leader for those people that haven't like been on this track like us it's good for us to take those laps and kind of memorize the corners know where the flag stations are you know kind of practice the line and get a good race line yeah get a good race line um, now so that uh, when it comes to the next session we are a little bit more prepared so that's kind of why we like um, sticking to beginner class right now because we haven't been to any of these tracks and we like these parade laps instead of going balls to the wall right away. We don't know these tracks. Yeah, you don't want to figure it out during your session. That's yeah. why you want to at least the first session to try to get to know it. Yeah, I don't want to figure it out with a 300 horsepower S2000 on my ass. So, uh, yeah, that was good. The track is definitely not as, not as scary as it looks from over here. It doesn't seem as long of a strip as if, yeah, when you're looking at it. The, the, the rumble strips though, those things are gnarly. You they have to don't be hit those. careful. Don't hit those things. That's why I was saying try to hit it tight. You don't want to come in too tight. Yeah, I actually, um, I heard of a, a girl on Instagram with an Integra that was here a few weeks ago. She hit one of those rumble strips too hard and flipped her car over. Um, so we have to be careful. I think I saw that. Yeah, so we have to be careful with that. 
Uh, she got lucky that she didn't get hurt, but yeah, this this track is no joke for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, it doesn't doesn't seem too bad. Next session, we're gonna get out there a little bit harder and crank it up from like 20% to 50%, and uh, see the times drop and see how the day goes. Yeah, we're gonna try to get faster as the day goes. We don't want to go 100% in session two, so we're progressively just kind of trying to up up the speed. Sent you a little too hard there, bud. I got caught up in the excitement. I went off track and I heard oh, really? something. Oh yeah. I gotta jack this thing up and make sure I didn't mess anything up. I got out and I had the lady check check me and she said, no, you're fine, go back out. She sent me back out. Oh, okay. So I'm not because leaking anything. That, I thought I hit it. I, had, I thought I hit the oil pan. Okay. Let's see what I do. Yep. That'll do it. So just in case the footage wasn't good enough, I'm, I'll go ahead and throw a picture up on the screen, but I smashed my headers. I got lucky, because that's right next to my oil pan, and it could have been my oil pan, and the engine would have been done, I would have been done for the weekend, and I would have had a catastrophic failure, but it was just the headers. But uh, I guess that's a sign that I'm supposed to calm down a little bit. I said I wasn't going to go hard, 50%, I mean I could have gone a lot faster, but I don't know what it is. I keep uh, I keep pushing the limits of this car and passing it. I don't know if I need tires or coilovers, I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm, I'm going way faster. Or I'm pushing the car a lot harder than, than it's uh, capable of, so I guess I got to cool it for the rest of the day. If I don't want to mess more things up. I'm pretty sure my times are all bad. I, I, let I kept going. I, was kept, I keep going back and forth with at least three people that were there. And they'll get on my ass and I'll, I'll let them through. And then I'll catch up to them. And they didn't let me pass. So.
came in early on that session. Uh, they're actually still out there, but I gave it my 110% on one of the laps, and I was flat out on the floor for most of it. And I don't think I could have gone any faster. And I feel like it's just reckless at this point to push further than that. I think that was it. Like that's the fastest I could go as a driver or this car can go as a car. I'm just gonna see what the results are when they print them. Hopefully they're a little bit better than the last session. If I did improve, man, it's gonna be hard not to go to the next session. But if it's the same, then I know that I'm, I'm capped out. Like that, that's it, that's all I can do at this track. And it's no big deal. I mean, I have a lawnmower engine, so it's probably it. It's probably all it's got, you know. So I'm just gonna cool off, get something cold to drink, and uh, wait for the results. I'm back here, but unfortunately, I need to I need to ask for more gap. I'm not being cocky. It's just I know this car has more in it. The tires are a huge help from where it was before. It's definitely a lot stickier, it's hugging the road. I'm actually articulating a lot better, but we'll see for the next one. So Vita Club was kind of a mess as far as like videos go. You know, I didn't really film that much. I actually didn't really sleep that night um, due to a lot of stuff that we had going on, but we went to the track. Streets of Willow was a lot of fun. Pizza Club was a lot of fun as usual. I kind of stopped filming at a certain point as you guys saw. Then that's just because, you know, we were super tired and we had to pack up and go. Uh, but it was great. Uh, we sat down, I guess. I mean, it was our first time at, at Streets of Willow. Uh, Mooney put down a very good time, very respectable time. Uh, I did the best that I could in my car and we had a blast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave us a comment down below, give us a like, whatever you guys can do to help us out. Um, and like I said, in the next episode, we'll talk about all this behind me. But for now, have a good one guys. And remember function, momentum, grip.